Good morning, New Life. I wanted to share a couple of thoughts with you this morning. One is of the devotional nature and then a couple of updates um, as well. So let me jump right into the devotional thought. Uh, I've been looking at Psalm 23. The Lord is my shepherd. I shall not be in want or as it's probably better translated, I shall want for nothing. Um, and then it says he makes me to lie down in green pastures. Now, I don't know about you, but when I think about green pastures, I think about lush hillsides and, and valleys full of green, green grass. Uh, but I want to show you a picture that I took when I was in Israel. Now, you're going to have to hang with me here because I'm sure there is some way to insert uh, a picture into this video, but I haven't figured it out yet. So I'm going to hold up a picture for you to look at on my tablet. You can laugh at my technological incompetence. Uh, that's, that's fair enough. You go ahead and laugh. But here's the picture. Now what you're seeing there is a flock of sheep and goats traveling along a hillside in the desert country and what you're looking at is the green pastures. Let me show you one more picture real quickly here and this is what those goats and sheep are eating as they travel along. That little tuft of dried up grass is what they eat. And so the sheep and the goats, they travel over an area of roughly five or six square miles a day, grazing that little bits of grass all along the hillsides in the desert um, for their pastures. That is green pastures. You see, we think of green pastures as God providing in abundance. But God says, I will provide you enough enough i will give you what you need and so a green pasture is that place that has just enough for us and i want to encourage you to remember and to look as you're starting to feel stressed uh, throughout this whole situation uh, at what you have and what god has provided for you and to be reminded is it enough is god giving you enough to make it through today then praise him because that is the kind of God he is, the one who provides enough for each and every day. Now, I want to give you a couple of other things uh, update wise. Uh, I wanted to remind you or let you know if you didn't know that we are going to be in, doing online church uh, tomorrow morning, Sunday morning at nine o'clock, our regular worship time. We will have something up here. Now, I don't know what it's going to be. We're working hard to be able to do a live stream. Um, but as you saw by my technological incompetence, that there's no telling. Uh, how it might all turn out and what it looks like. So I encourage you to come and to uh, participate in that with us. And maybe you'll get some laughs along the way, uh, but maybe you'll find some encouragement there as well. Uh, a couple other things uh, we now have available on our website and on our app. Uh, online giving. Now you may have to refresh your app. There's a little round circle thing towards the bottom and you just hit on that and it'll refresh it, update it. Um, but you, you can now give uh, through uh, online portals if you'd like to do that. Of course, if you don't want to, you can always mail a check into the church and, and we'll get it that way as well. I want to encourage you with this matter of giving. We know that many of you or some of you have already been laid off um, and have not do not have income at this current time. And our goal, our hope as a church is to maintain giving as much as possible because we think there's going to become in the weeks to come uh, a much greater need. And we want to be able to help as much as possible uh, with benevolence help, with money help uh, for those who have no income, who have no jobs and are in need that way. And so, uh, our, of course, our bills don't go away. The church's bills don't go away. But more than that, we want to be able to help those uh, who are in need. And so are really uh, praying that you will continue to be generous uh, in your giving uh, to the best of your ability. So uh, those two things. Also, Jason Sharp has a Kingdom Kids page for your kids. 
uh, and I want to encourage you to go there and check out the things that Jason is doing uh, to try and keep the kids involved and connected as well. So have a great and blessed day, and remember, God provides enough.